So as part of the Know How series, we're going to look at changing a bandsaw tyre. We've took two wheels off a BS350 in this instance, and one of the first recommendations I'd tell you is to take the wheels off the machine. Don't try and put them on while they're on the machine, else it's going to make it a really difficult job. Obviously one of the first things we do is get rid of the old tyre. So we can either go through it with the Stanley knife and just peel it away, or flat bladed screwdriver, just hook under the tyre itself, turn it over, and peel it off like you would the old bike tyre. Obviously loosen off in the vice, which is securing the, the wheel at the time. And then we're just going to discard the old tyre and replace it with the new. So we've done the easy bit. So let's have a look at the procedure and how easy we can make it putting the new tyre on. So we've got the old tyre off. We're going to put the new tyre on. The thing is the, they're very tight to put on and there's a reason behind that because we don't want them to be slack and rotate around while they're in action. Um, and a lot of other people's that they put on, they are too loose when they put on, they have to glue them in position. And obviously it's a long-winded way of doing things. So we do get a few phone calls saying these are small or too tight to put on. So I'm just going to show you our procedure and how we do it and hope it's going to be helpful. So like I said, we've took the old tyre off. And what we'll do is we'll just clean the face up that it's going to sit on to make sure there's no foreign bodies or any resin, anything like that. At this point, if you want, you can put some white spirit around there and just give it a good clean, clean it up, let it dry. Then, we just tighten that up in the vise. We come to the, the tyre. Obviously, we've got different size tyres. This one's the BS350S. Uh, we do the Sabre 350, the 300E, uh, and obviously through the range the tyre size differs slightly but they're all going to be tight to put on so the easiest way to get over that is I drop it in the standard washing bowl and then we're just going to add hot water we don't need boiling water we just need hot water and all we're going to do is just make the tyre nice and supple stretch it off just give it a bit more movement and then once we've done that, obviously it's going to expand and then contract back onto the wheel. A little bit of a tip for you, because we've tightened the wheel up in the vase, I just use that to just stretch the tyre off slightly in two or three places. Just give it a little bit more movement as we're doing it. We can move the ball out of the way then. Then we loosen off the vise. We run the tyre along the bottom. Now this is where it can get a little bit fingers and thumbs. So we get it in position on the sort of bottom half, bottom quarter, tighten up, back up in the vise, which is going to allow it to stretch it. Now I could probably get away with this by pulling this all the way over and over stretching, but it's going to be quite difficult. So what I do, just to help it along and stop it slipping off. I use a tie wrap to hold it in place. Obviously if you're on your own, you might have not got the vice to hold it in position. But obviously if you've got both, it all helps. So we put it on one side, bring this other side around as far as you can. Obviously that's under load now. Again we can just use the other tie wrap to bring it round. And then again, everybody's at different levels with the strength and I could probably get over and bring this all the way up. But if you feel you can't, what you can do is just roll a round screwdriver over it, bring it over the top, making sure we don't trap his fingers and bring it in position. Once we've done that, we can snip these tie wraps off. Obviously don't catch the tyre when you're doing that, so we'll be starting all over again. And then, when I've been watching other people put the tyres on, they do what they call an equalising of the tyre, 
and obviously this is a round board screwdriver and what I do is I just roll this round bar around so we can just mark the tyre just with a felt tip so we know where we're up to then with the lip what it sits in I just roll this round and let it drop back down pushing up to the the lip at the front of the wheel itself loose enough roll that round and again just keep rotating and what it's going to do if it was over stretched slightly at any point it's just going to even that out and give it a nice grip but at the same time it needs to be tight like we said if the tire is too loose and you've got to glue it in position it becomes a really messy job to do and a long winded job and as you can see if this is done correctly it's quite a quick process to do and we keep going round and I'm just making sure it's sitting nicely on the lip of the machined wheel and at the same time it's equalising the rubber. Now we're back to where we started so what we can do is just hold that down and slide the screwdriver out, obviously it's rounded, just drop it back in that lip, take that out, just give it a once over inspection wise, should be no marks on there and then we're ready to put this back onto the bandsaw. You can see the holes that have been drilled out there for the weight of the wheel so it's nicely balanced and the seal for life bearing so give all that a clean, drop it back on your bandsaw, good as new.